Those sexting arrests in Murphy, Texas, were headlines on NBC's To Catch a Predator. But in his first interview since that sting, the Collin County District Attorney says the arrests may have been unlawful and many may never go to court. News 8's Byron Harris broke the story on the problems with the cases tonight, an exclusive interview with John Roach on why the cases are weak. Last year, Collin County prosecuted more than 11,000 cases, evidence that District Attorney John Roach is not soft on crime. But when it came to prosecuting 23 men arrested by Murphy police in a sex sting with NBC News and an Internet watchdog group, Roach said no. We even have questions about whether or not the arrests were even legal. One reason, the Murphy police had no arrest warrants. What you saw on television wasn't the crime. The crime had already been committed before the guys ever showed up at the house. The men showed up after allegedly soliciting sex on the internet with members of perverted justice who were posing as minors. But in 15 of the cases, no part of the crime took place in Collin County. It was on computers literally all over the country. And Roach has other problems with perverted justice's involvement in the cases. In this case in particular is, is that perverted justice and or the television network were in control of this entire operation. And the Murphy Police Department was merely incidental and part of the program. News 8 has tried repeatedly to contact perverted justice. They've not responded. They boast of a 100% success rate in bringing sexual predators to justice. Their TV partner NBC declined to be interviewed for this story. But Chris Hansen, who hosts To Catch a Predator for NBC, says this about the show's record. Of the more than 200 men charged in our investigations, not one man has been let off. In every case, the man has either pleaded guilty been convicted at trial or his case is still pending. But here are the statistics. 286 people have been arrested in Dateline perverted justice stings around the country. 103 of them, 36 percent, have pleaded guilty. After nearly three years of television shows, more than 150 have yet to be tried. They're still on the streets. Collin County suspected problems with the Murphy sting from the beginning. We fired a shot over the bow to try to warn um, the Murphy Police Department off. The department went ahead on its own. In a brief interview with News 8 two weeks ago, Murphy Chief Billy Myrick defended his actions. We did learn some operational things that we would have approached differently now that we know what we know. Since then, Myrick has not returned our phone calls. Only eight of the 23 cases show promise, Roach says, because of incomplete evidence and poor record keeping. If they had been in control of this situation, we would have uh, good cases to present. I mean, they're a professional organization and they know what they're doing. What they did instead, though, was just abdicate completely uh, to outsiders who don't know diddly squat, frankly, about the law enforcement business. NBC pays perverted justice to run the stings. The DA has asked for the contract between the two, but they won't provide it. NBC's videotapes are key evidence in the case. The DA has asked for them without success. What is exactly the deal between the Murphy, uh, City of Murphy and NBC? What exactly is the deal between NBC and perverted justice? Uh, who's getting paid what? Who has what axe to grind? The throwdown arrests, hidden cameras, and confrontations make fascinating television for many. But the DA says they're unneeded for law enforcement. These guys weren't fleeing from the police. They, they probably would have gone home and, and there had been plenty of time to make the cases and get the warrants and arrest them properly. But of course, you don't get to see that part on television. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.